countrymen, women, and the youth. Today, we address the nation on the eve of the inaugural commemoration of the Kenneth Kaunda Day, which falls on the 20th of April. This day, the birthday of Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, the first president of the Republic of Zambia, was declared a public holiday in 2021 in honor of his life, the life of service following his death on the 17th of June 2021. The Kenneth Kaunda Day is and should be an occasion when we as a people take time to reflect on the life and legacy of Dr. Kaunda, a life of dedicated duty and invaluable sacrifice to people, both at home and beyond. This day is also an opportunity to emulate and promote the values that Dr. Kaunda stood for and the causes that he championed. Countrymen and women, Dr. Kaunda was a firm believer in human development and accordingly provided free education and healthcare services from which many of us benefited. As a government, we are determined to uphold and replicate his legacy by providing free education to our people, all our people. Countrymen and women, Dr. Kaunda will always be remembered as a towering liberation movement figure who played a key role in independence, the independent struggle of many countries in our region. And as a result of his unwavering support for such self-rule, our brothers and sisters in Angola, Mozambique, Namibia, and Zimbabwe were freed from colonial rule. Dr. Kaunda must and will also be remembered for the pivotal role he played in ending the apartheid rule in South Africa. Indeed, he stood tall amongst many African leaders. Countrymen and women, as we acknowledge Dr. Kaunda's contributions to the country and region, let us also remember that as a person, Dr. Kaunda possessed qualities and attributes which made him stand out among many. He was not only courageous, modest, and determined. Dr. Kaunda was also kind and passionate as a man of impeccable honor and integrity. Countrymen and women, we have a lot to learn from our founding father who dedicated his whole life to service of others. Dr. Kaunda believed in peaceful coexistence, he emphasized the biblical command to love one's neighbors as we love ourselves. He was a champion of unity, not only here in Zambia, but also in our region and the continent at large, the global community at large. It is not surprising, therefore, that he coined the motto, One Zambia, One Nation, while his famous song, Tiende Pamozi Ndimutima Umozi, is further testimony of his undenying belief in a purpose-driven unit. Countrymen and women, Dr. Kaunda left us with such an iconic and lofty legacy. He stood and worked for freedom, the freedom to determine our shared social, political, and economic destinies. Dr. Kaunda stood and worked for unity. He left us a lasting legacy of love and respect, a legacy of patriotism peace and tranquility, a legacy of good neighborliness, a legacy of good governance, a legacy of inspiration, integrity, and courage. We all have an obligation to emulate his legacy and make the future better for all our citizens here at home and indeed beyond. We must inspire future generations to live exemplary lives and contribute to the social economic development of our country. Countrymen and women, as we celebrate the Kenneth Kaunda Day, let us do so with a sense of gratitude, a sense of personal responsibility, with a sense of dignity and honor. Let us join hands to help those in need and demonstrate our love for one another by the way we treat one another. Countrymen and women, may God continue to grant us his mercies and blessings. May the Almighty God bless our country, Zambia. And may the legacy of our founding father, Dr. Kenneth Kaunda, live on. One Zambia, one nation. One nation, one people. Thank you and good day.